Hey, Shalom Amakim, this is Rakam Bakapash, I'm Jim Eslan, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashev Chachadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in all sincerity. <clears throat> Back again with another lesson, another video. And um, got this article here from uh, X, <laughs> formerly known as Twitter. And um, this post here from uh, MertHelius.dev. And um, just showing you what's going on in Canada right now, in terms of um, you know these laws that they're they're uh, passing, okay, which really is um, you know stifling or trying to stifle you know freedom of speech, you know the truth. There's already passing uh, bills and that to prevent those that believe in the scriptures to speak uh, out in public. Um, so that that time. You know, because these governments can do that. They can do that anytime they please. And, um, you know, just give it the right situation, they'll, they'll do that. They'll ban all speech. You know, all really to keep away the truth from the people's ears in that time. You know, and like I said, they're really, they're really going on, you know, trying to get at those that, um, you know, that, that push, the, push the scriptures, push the Bible. Okay, they're really trying to get at those. And, um, you know, you're going to see from uh, some of this here, right, how they how they plan to treat uh, people they, they deem as dissidents, those that don't agree with the um, government uh, line, the narrative, all right, because they, they believe it to be dangerous, all right? So... I'm just going to start reading this, right? This new Canadian law is the craziest thing I have ever seen in the West. According to this, they can accuse, fine, and jail you for past speech before the before the law went live. So, I said something you done, you know, said or did in the past they, they don't like. They can uh, penalize you, you know, before this this, um, this this law came to come come to being, you know. It says, put you on house arrest and take away all communication rights if they even suspect you might say something they don't like, i.e. you haven't done literally anything. All right, and that reminds me of that movie, uh, Minority Report with um, Tom Cruise, right, when you had the precogs, okay, uh, predicting crime, predicting, um, you know, the future of a particular person doing a particular thing without having done anything at all. Right, so them and uh, for the first time ever want to be preemptive. <laughs> These guys they want to be preemptive and nothing usually, um, but yeah they want to because we don't know you know they got people on these lists these you know red and blue lists you know Project Megiddo and so on right so they so we know they really got an idea of who they want to suppress who they want to oppress who they want to take down. Okay, and so if they believe. You got some track record, and you would you, they believe that you you would say something or you would do something? Man, no, we just we just take you, put you put you in a concentration camp or something, man. You know. Uh, next one says anyone can accuse you, and it's on the committee of bureaucrats called the Digital Safety Commission to solemnly solely determine the truth. If you are an immigrant or young person thinking of coming to Canada, I strongly recommend reconsidering. <laughs> All right, and um. You know, just as this guy mentioned mentioned here, the you know the George Orwell's, I was it 1984, book, movie, right? All the things that are in that. Okay, I, I actually come into into being, in this time and age that we're living in now, and you know things were like that, wasn't as bad as that back then, but you could see where it was going, right? And they need it to go to this place, man, to to kind of try and hold back the truth. Right, that's what these governments want. They want to control the minds. That's what the government, what the government means. They want to control the minds of the people, and so they you know, need to withhold the truth and and feed you with a bunch of disinformation, a bunch of confusion. All right, and when they feel like they can't, they haven't got like a grip on it, they'll just force you. They'll force you, man. Okay, they'll bring in all kinds of these these types of laws and that, and just have you all kind of messed up, man. Okay, not being able to do anything. Because you'll be punished. Alright. Uh, let's have a look at this quickly. Alright. 
Okay, which one's first? I think it's this one. Right, it says, although they, 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 is it the first one? All right, let me start here. It says, under the bill, anyone can accuse you of the communication of hate speech, and if the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal finds you guilty, it can order you to pay up to $20,000 to any victim and 50000 to the state. Well, look what um <laughs> happened to uh, Alex Jones, you know, concerning the Sandy Hook incident. You know, that they, they, they basically sued him, brought him to court. He had to pay out loads of money, you know, to the victims because they were hurt, mentally, emotionally scarred and whatever. Right. So they took that man, making him a public, exa a public example. Right. This is um, to any victim and 50,000 to the state on pain of imprisonment. No limit on how many times a malfactor can be ordered to pay these fines. Obviously, so bank received news for Jordan Peterson, and it is, and it isn't just stuff you've posted. After the new law comes into force, you can get into trouble. Let me read that again. And it isn't just stuff you've posted after the new law comes into force. You can get into trouble for oh no. Oh okay. Oh no. Oh no. Right. But anything you've posted ever, right? So the saying going back through uh, anything you previously did or said. You know, um, so dating back to the dawn of the internet. In other words, it's, it's a golden boss invitation to offense, offense archaeologists to do their worst with the prospect of a twenty thousand dollar reward if they hit uh, pay dirt. Yeah, so you're gonna have yeah, you're gonna have guys <laughs> trolling, trolling the internet, trolling the internet, trying to find uh, cases where you know where they can be offended at and uh, and and do this to you. <laughs> you know, bring, bring you before the the councils right um so I tried. I don't bother that one all right let's read this bit although that won't protect you from another clause in the bill and this is where it trips over in, into as yet unimagined un, an unimagined dystopian territory if the court believes you are likely to commit a hate crime or disseminate hate propaganda not defined you can be placed under under house arrest and your ability to communicate with others is restricted. That is, a court can force you to wear an ankle bracelet, prevent you from, or, or, hear me out now, or a micro C hip, <laughs> right? A micro C hip, okay, the MOTB, all right? Um, prevent you from using any of your communication devices, deactivate it, right? And instruct you not to leave the house. If the court believes there's a risk, you may get drunk or high and start tweeting under inf under the influence. Although that is unclear, given you can't use your phone or PC, it could order you to submit regular urine samples to the authorities. All right? So, they got a little bit of a madness. And it's like we, you know, beginning of it was impossible. You know, we, we've said in the past, you know, these laws that they, some of them have gone under the radar. Some of them, they, they pass in, in, you know, behind closed doors. They're not being passed for no reason. Okay, they're there to be used, right? It's just when are they going to be used? The right time to be used. Okay, and the times are coming. The times are coming to use all these these um all these bills and all these laws that they've been sitting on, right? To to use it for their advantage, right? Because like I said, this is really going to be aimed at those that are uh, you know speaking against the government, right? Using the scriptures, okay. Teaching out of the Bible, okay, they they hate that. Okay, they hate that man. Because it condemns them. It condemns these nations, man. None of these none of these nations are righteous. And so the, the, the scripture uh um uh designates destruction for them. You know, so of course, you know, people are gonna speak against the governments and their wickedness. And that the fact that you know they're gonna be brought down. All right. But let me start off here with the scriptures in here in uh, Second Andrew chapter 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right. So again, we're one of the main targets um, of these policies, of these laws, of these bills. Right? To stifle us, man, to put pressure on us, to oppress us, to remove us, remove our voice. 
Okay, remove our presence. Okay, so whether that means they 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 you know get get you lock you up kill you whatever the case may be, they vilify you, you know because they're gonna do all these things. All right, their plan is to come to roll against us and to come against us. You know. So for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, and they shall be madmen like madmen sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, right? So they're going to come after us, man. They're going to use all these bills and all these laws, you know, just at the right time to, um, you know, convince the people that they're doing the right thing and that we're enemies, that we're uh, a threat, that we're a problem that needs to be taken care of, right? And, you know, the majority of these people are going to be backing it because they hate us. They hate the word, right? They hated our Lord and so they hate us, man. They hate the word of the Heavenly Father, man. And so, you know, this is what's going to happen. Okay? It says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. They sh then shall they be known who are my chosen, right? Because the chosen are going to go through this. Okay, those that are teaching the name, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Okay, the Lord is dealing with, man. This is what they're going to have to go through, man. And they're going to stand stiffly. Okay? Um... Then shall it be known who am I chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold as the gold in the fire. Okay, it's all a test for the men of the Lord to complete. All right. Revelation two and ten here says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because we should surely suffer." This is even though this is um, this is all what we're looking looking forward to at the end, right? We're all looking forward to it. Okay, but. For sure, we're going to suffer, man. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be no cakewalk. Right? It's going to be a difficult process. Okay, but one we have to be mentally and spiritually spiritually ready for, prepared for. Right? So it, it involves getting into, into these scriptures, man, and believing in, in these prophecies. Right? Believing in this word, man, and understanding it. Okay? Knowing that if you're going to serve the Lord, you're going to, you know, you have to prepare for temptation. There's going to be all kinds of obstacles and hurdles in, in our way to fulfill our goal, man. To get to the finish line. Okay, you have to be certain, you know, sure that you believe in this world. You believe in your Habashim Yahushai. You know, that you counted the cost. Okay, that you knew what you are getting yourself into. You have to know these things. There's, there's too many other camps out here that are, are, are you know, creating an illusion um, among their congregation, man. Like nothing, nothing bad is going to happen to them, man. You know that this is this is all fun and games. You know, but serious times are approaching, and we have to be ready. You know, so we're not caught out, so we're not, um, uh, you know, blindsided. You know, we know what, what the trials that we that we face, man. And be prepared, you know, prepare for them for the to the best of our abilities, man. All right. But anyway, back here in verse ten it says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison." Right. So, like I said, they're going to use some of these, you know, these types of laws to 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 incarcerate us, man, to take us. All right. Whether it be house arrest, whether it is, they, you know, they take you to a prison, uh, uh, um, black site, you know, um, concentration camp, whatever the case may be. They're going to put hands on us, man. They're going to, they're going to take some of us. All right. It says the, that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Okay. Which is just a number of completion, right? Could be there a number of days, you know, longer or lesser, you know, but you're going to be there a time. Okay. Be thou faithful unto death. Cause that's, that's, if that's what it has to take, that's what, if that's what it has to take, that's what it has to be, then, then so be it. Okay, that's what we're commanded to do, man. Offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. All right, so whatever our lot is, okay, we, we take that lot, right? It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. There's a reward for being faithful. Okay? And that's what we're only fighting for, right? Our place. Okay, our place in the kingdom. Right? Uh, it's 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 It says here Many shall follow their pernicious ways 
by reason of whom the way of truth shall be even spoken of. Spoken of, right? So, like I said, because we hold the you know the testimony of Yahweh Shai, you hold His word, right? They're gonna come up against us, man, because we don't we ain't nothing nice to say to them. <laughs> you know, we got nothing, nothing nothing nice to say about them. So, you know, they're gonna come against us. This word is gonna be spoken evil of, man. You know, that's hateful and and extreme and all this kind of business. You know, like there's, like they say it in here, right? So they're going to do that and, and the people are going to be with it. Okay. This is March at the 13 verse 9. It says, but take heed to yourselves for they shall deliver you to up to the councils and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten. Okay. They make public examples out of us, man. Right. And you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake for a testimony against them. Okay. Before the judges for these councils and, and you know these authorities and whatever, right? But we're gonna be we're gonna be brought in front of them to testify against them. So if most most I puts that in you know puts you in that in that position, it's it's really you know so the law is gonna condemn these men, you know, because you're gonna speak the truth against them, right? And they ain't gonna have, have no defense really. You know, they might have a bunch of excuses or they you know they're just gonna shut you down, but they they've heard the truth now and they're gonna you know be gonna be condemned by it, right? Verse ten and the gospel must be first published among all nations. Okay, this is why it's something. This is something that's been fulfilled in this latter time. It wasn't fulfilled back in the time of Mark here, right? Or in the time of Paul or in the time of John. Okay, they were never the prophets were never or the apostles were never around the whole entire earth. Okay, but in this modern day we are, right? So the gospel must be first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do you de neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Right? So we're gonna be relying, you know, everything we're gonna be doing, man, is gonna be relying on the on the spirit. You know, how we deal with these guys. You know? Because everything is, is happening un under the hand of the Lord. And so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it, man. It's going to flow with it. All right? It says, Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. All right? People are going to be train, you know, betraying one another, man. Snitching. <laughs> you know, so to speak, right? Because as soon, as soon as, you know, you know, they, they, they put our faces up there on, on, the, on the TV and, you know, all these kind of stuff and, 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 and push that narrative, you know that we're, we're dangerous or whatever, man. You're gonna you're gonna have, you're gonna have the, you know, the spirits gonna jump on these guys to, you know, talk shit and 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 rat you out essentially, right? That you're a believer, that you, you know, uh, are out there teaching this word. You know, so don't let too many people know your business, man. Don't don't, don't let no one know your business, right? I know somebody, you know, some somebody's gonna know where you live. Someone's gonna know. The way you work and all that kind of stuff, but you know, really, you should keep that minimal, man. Because you're gonna have guys, yeah, yeah, I know this nigga, da, 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 talking shit about you, and then and you know, pointing people in your in your in your direction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is unwanted trouble. But you know, if that's what the Lord does, and you know, that's that's what it is. You know, it says um, now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and and. And children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. You know, or it's a sympathizer, or you, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, that, what movie was that in? I'm sure it's in plenty of movies, man. But you had, you had uh, children writing their parents out and all that kind of stuff, you know, in, in these situations, you know, because they've been indoctrinated, okay, by Esau and the government and all that kind of stuff to do. So do the right thing. See something, say something. What is all that shit? You know? Verse 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? And that's what we're banking on. Okay? Even though we know we're going to suffer all this persecution, man. We hope and we believe that Yahweh Shai, you know, is going to deliver us from all these things, man. And, and, and be saved in the end. Right? Because... By denying the Lord, by denying this word, like to save ourselves from persecution, that's not going to work. You think you you doing yourself some doing yourself good by by denying the Lord, but 
uh, those that deny the Lord, the Lord's going to deny them to the, to the Father. Right? He that liketh the Savior his life shall lose it. Right? So you're not going to do yourself any favors, man. Thinking, if you know, if you think that, if you think, oh, you know, I just, I just, I just want to, uh, yeah, I just keep, I'll keep the old key in that day. I'm not going to say nothing. And no, I don't believe in that. I don't do that. You know, all this stuff. That's not going to work out, man. You know, you think you're going to take the MOTB and you think you're not going to get judged? That's not going to work out for you, man. Okay? But a lot of guys are going to buckle under the pressure, man, and, 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 and do, do them, to, you know, do them sort of things. You know? But we've got to remain firm. We've got to remain strong in our belief, man. Okay? And take whatever comes our way. Okay? This is John chapter 3, verse 19. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Because they we're the ones pointing all the, all the wickedness out. Okay, the things that are not right in this world. Because everybody believes they're right in their, in their own eye, in their own mind. You know? But we're here to give you a, a, a clear, concise definition of right and wrong. Right? We could tell you. Right, and wickedness has to be um, punished, has to be judged. And the Lord's coming to, come to judge all this wickedness that's in the earth. Now you hate us because of that truth, the truth that's been given to us. Right? And so, you know, you don't want to hear this truth because you don't want to be told that you're wicked. You don't want to be told that you're going to be judged. Right? It's not, it's not us that judges you, man. It's the Heavenly Father, it's His Word. And we're simply relaying, relaying that message to you. Right? But you, you shun it. You hate it because, like it says here, your deeds were evil. Right? Verse 20, everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. This is why you're dead set against it. It said, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Is Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 says, Well unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Or unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Right? So you can't you can't be living this lie any longer, man. Okay, you're gonna find out that you're wicked. Just just like how the Bible you know reveals that you are. All the things that are being done in this place. Right, there's no defense. You've been told. You've been told it's wrong. But you want to continue in that wickedness anyway. You've been given the opportunity to repent. And you've not heard it. You've not heeded it. All right, and so you're going to receive the punishment then. It says, War unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which just justify the wicked for reward. Just to get on in society, man, just to make your way up in, you know, in this world. You justify the things that go on in it. You know? That's why everyone's out here doing doing a whole bunch of wickedness, man, just to get what they can get out of this place. And that's what Esau wants. Okay, a, a, a world full of wickedness and spite, envy, you know, pride. That's what he wants, man. Because all these things are offensive to the Heavenly Father, man. Um, to which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteous, righteousness of the righteous from him. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. All right. So judgment's coming, man. This is Jeremiah 30 verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? And we keep talking about this. Whereas other camps don't want to talk about it, we keep talking about it. Right? Because this is what's going to come up on our people, man. You know? You hold you hold beliefs in these scriptures, man. You're going to be an issue. You're going to be a problem to, to, to these governments and to these people. 
We already know these people hate us. We already know, you know, these governments are, you know, got it in for us, man. So there's going to be come a time of Jacob's trouble. And then these laws that they pass are going to make it, you know, make it uh, easy to do that. To, to, to demonize you, to criminalize you. You know, to get their hands on you. Okay. I'm going to end that with this. Amos chapter 8 verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord of Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of, of hearing the words of the Lord. Right? Because like I said, they're going to want to remove us to the streets and, you know, uh, block all our accounts and, and whatever. And, and there, there's going to be no opportunity for you to hear the word no more. You're going to be looking for it and you're not going to find it, man. You might find some bogus shit out there. Maybe. Okay, but you're not going to hear the truth. And that's what these laws are, are, are aimed to do, to try and remove the truth from, from the ears of the people. You know, and so, like I said, they're, they're laying the groundwork. You know, and Canada's not the only one. You know, like I said, a lot of these places, they pass bills and, and they just go under the radar. You know, but they'll use them when, when the time comes. You know, but that time is in time of Jacob's trouble and, and, and the family of the word, that's all coming soon, man. All right, so, you know, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Lord, witness has been edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So, till next time, I say Shalom.